Hello guys, Sanjay here and as you can see, I have the Redmi Note 3 over here with me and Redmi Note 3 is running on latest version of MIUI that is MIUI 8 and MIUI 8 came after MIUI 7 and just in case if you are thinking MIUI 7 was so much stable as compared to MIUI 8, I hate MIUI 8, I want to revert back to MIUI 7 once again then this is the method which you should follow in order to roll back to MIUI 7 and this method will work on all Xiaomi devices, it doesn't matter if it is Redmi Note 3 or Redmi 3s Prime or even the MI3, this method will work for sure. And all the data on your device will be wiped. So first of all, go into additional settings, go into backup and reset, select local backups and backup all the data from here. Move that backup to SD card or move that backup to your PC so that whenever we roll back to MIUI 7, you can simply restore that backup and uh, you will not lose data. And first of all, you will need to disable driver signature enforcement on your PC. Now hold shift button on your keyboard and at the same time, uh, restart your computer or if you have a laptop then restart it once you see this screen click on troubleshoot over here then click on advanced options now click on startup settings so that we can disable the driver signature enforcement on the windows 10 and now simply restart your device once you see this screen that means we have to press f7 in order to disable the driver signature enforcement and just press f7 on your keyboard and now your pc will restart and everything will be normal once you have disabled the driver signature enforcement, we need to install the MI Flash beta over here. Now we need the MIUI 7 fastboot zip file of your device. I have downloaded it for Redmi Note 3 over here. And just in case if your device is different, like if you have Redmi 2 Prime or Redmi 3s Prime, then you will have to search it a little bit on MIUI forums. I'll try to give uh, direct download links in the description box below but I cannot guarantee you that I will be able to list down all the devices. So make sure you download the MIUI 7 fastboot zip file. Once that is done, extract it. And now we need to boot our device into EDL mode. So let's assume you have a Redmi Note 3 then simply switch off your device. Then hold the volume down button and power button together in order to boot into fastboot mode. Attach the USB cable to your device. Now open up this folder that is Fastboot EDL. Double click on EDL. And your device will go completely black. And as you can see the LED will start flashing over here. That means the device has booted into EDL mode. And this is the method you have to follow for Redmi Note 3. But just in case if you have Redmi 3s Prime or Redmi 2, Redmi 2 Prime. Then switch off your device. Then hold the volume up button and power button together. Then select download over here, select download and the screen will go completely blank. That means our device has booted into EDL mode. But if you have an unlocked bootloader on your device, then you do not need to boot into EDL mode. You can simply flash the ROM through fast boot mode also. So EDL mode is only for those devices which have locked bootloader. So that is how it is. Now open up the MI flash, which we had installed earlier. If you refresh, your device will be shown over here and this is the Redmi Note 3 that we have attached to our system. Now select the MIUI 7 zip file which we had extracted earlier. Select the images folder over here. Select OK. Even if you select save user data, it did not save any user data for me. But I would highly highly recommend you to select clean all and do a flash over here. It will start flashing now. So as you can see after 1005 seconds which is almost 15 minutes the flashing is completed and now the device will not reboot automatically you will have to reboot it manually and for that hold the power button for 10 to 15 seconds yes you will have to hold it for 10 to 15 seconds and the device will reboot itself. So as you can see we have successfully booted back into MIUI 7 and we are running on MIUI 7 basically as you can see MIUI 8 is long gone and if you do not want to update your device manually then once you get into this and you get, see some update, just do not update your device, that's pretty much it and you will not be updated to MIUI 8 automatically unless and until you want to. If you want to confirm once again, let's go into settings about phone, you can see all the details over here if you want to confirm whether I flashed MIUI 7 or not. So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to smash that like button if you like this video and let's see if we can reach 600 likes on this video. So don't forget to smash that like button and if you have not subscribed to the channel already then do hit that subscribe button down below because many more awesome videos like these are going to come real soon on the channel which will help your device to get back into life once again. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So yeah, thank you guys, thank you for watching.